Hi, this is Luke here with Backyard Adventures. Today, I'm here with Abby and Emily, and what we're gonna do is create a cardboard Hot Wheel loop. So this is part one of two videos, and part one is just gonna be a regular size, standard Hot Wheel loop out of cardboard, and then we're gonna have Sam test it out later. And then part two is going to be outdoors since this is backyard adventures we're going to build a giant that's right giant hot wheel loop so stick around for part two and hope you enjoy part one of this two-part video <music> So here we are, uh, we're just about to go into the project, but before I just wanted to go over some of the items that we'll be using for this project. So first off, we have our main material. The, so we got the boxes. So we have this one here, which is a pretty big one. And then we have this one right here. I don't know if we're gonna use both of them, but better to have more than not enough. And what I like to do is I like to try to reduce and reuse all the items that we end up getting. So we do get quite a few Amazon boxes over the years. So I'm going to be reusing these boxes into our project. And after we're done using it, I'm, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and recycle. So those are the main materials. The other things that we have is we're gonna have this hot glue gun, just a standard, regular hot glue gun. So nothing fancy. And then we also are going to need something to cut the boxes. And what I'm going to be using is this box knife. So I put a new blade in it, so it's gonna be nice and sharp. <laughs> and then the last thing that we're probably gonna use, um, I still need to get a ruler to make straight edges. But I just got this plastic container for the lid and then the bowl so we can make the actual loop of the hot well loop. So that's the materials that we're gonna use today. And then uh, we'll get started. All right, so we're here at the first step. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and take this big box here and I'm gonna cut the sides, both these sides here, to get the main portion off. And then we're gonna use that as the base. So we'll see how that goes.
got m most of it completed. So I didn't do a very good job at measuring. My mistake. But it's going to turn out okay. Mainly it's just the main ramp here. As I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of tilted a little bit. But you know, you can support it with something on the side here. So that will be fine. But this loop, yeah, so this loop turned out really awesome. I'm really happy with that. So there's just a needing to put it together and then probably put some sides on these ones and on this ramp coming down. Um, the example that I saw had this coming back up and around, but you know, Sam, he's not much into turns as much as he is with jumps. So we're going to turn this into a jump instead of a curve. So a little bit more to do, but we're almost there. And then we'll test it out. got it completed so let's go check it out I think it turned out pretty well for first time ever doing it but we'll test it out once Sam is awake from his nap um, I'm sure he'll love trying it out so we'll wait for him to get up and test it out what do you think Sam Well, as you can see, Sam got up for testing it out, but I think I made the loop a little too big. Is it only, only goes about halfway, so we're gonna do something to try and get it to work. All right, going into the Hot Wheels collection. So, this is old school. This is actually Esther's from when she was a kid. So, I think this might do the trick. It might give it just enough power to go around. So, let's take a look.
Ethan's happy. Do you like it? All right, well that worked. Sam seemed to really love it. So now on to the giant one. Well, that might take a lot longer, but we'll get it done. All right, so one thing that came out of this little project is Emily really liked the little loops I made. So I made a couple for her. For her to use. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. All right, well, that wraps up this video. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe using the links below. And next time, <laughs> we'll try and get that uh, giant Hot Wheel car loop set up. Uh, like I said, it might take a little bit to get that all completed and up and ready, but I am going to be using probably this space to go ahead and build it. So join us on our next adventure once that comes up. And in the meantime, remember, the world's your backyard, so go have an adventure no matter how small. Bye.